Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll notice this one's a little bit different. Today's video, I'm going to try and talk you through some of the things I'm doing and my thoughts behind it, why I'm doing it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think it's better or you'd rather just written descriptions up top of the products I'm using and stuff like that. Anyway, let's get into it. The kit comes out of the box smooth, so you use a wire brush in the direction of the planks to add texture and add some wood grain. You'll notice with the razor saw I'm only doing in little sections in some places. That's because of all the screws and bolts I'm trying not to scratch over them. So I'm just working little bits at a time, scratching it up. With the sharp hobby knife, I'm just cutting in grooves where the wood planks would be splintered, just to make it look a bit more authentic. You can also use the knife to scratch deeper lines all the way down the planks just for more wood grain effect. Again I'm just using the razor saw to scratch the lengths of wood just to put a bit more texture into them. I'm doing it on my lap because of the way my hands are, it just makes it a bit easier for me to drag the wood across. Also when I cut out these planks of wood I do majority all the same length and then I do some smaller off cuts or random sizes just to help it blend in once I lay it down on the floor. Make sure to paint under wherever the wood's going to lay that'll help from showing through any little gaps you have in between the planks of wood and stuff like that. It's best to start your floor using all the different lengths of wood, just so none of the floor looks uniform. Off camera I did cut out a piece of the floor so it could have some broken floorboards showing through it. Add the water to the paint just so it doesn't lay on too thick, I can always add more. It's a bit easier than trying to put too much paint and get it off.
When your wife says she watches your videos, a good way to tell if she does is to use her makeup brushes to clean the parts. The real wood to the plastic colour isn't too far off, I'm pretty happy with it. I just paint these darker and lighter colours on so when I put the final coat there's a bit of variation in the final colour. Painting over the thing with the panel accent colours really helps to highlight the planks and any little bolts and screws and stuff like that. And also varies the paint colour once you start wiping it off with thinners. Again I just wipe over some of the raised areas, take some of the panel accent colours off and helps change a bit of the final colour. Now to start putting it all together, I use super glue to glue the floors in just because the wood is pretty close to the edge so to make sure it all holds I use super glue. Now 
I'm just using the fine brush here just to try and leave little bits unpainted just so it looks like little chips and that it's a bit easier than trying to get a sponge or anything in there for chipping. The best way I've found to paint these gold trims because they are so fine is to just dry brush them on and just keep going over it till you get a nice gold colour. It is a lot cleaner doing it this way but it does take a bit of time. Also with the little statues and other little things in there I used weathering pencils just really sharp and just draw over the little figures it was a lot cleaner than painting them. I just sponge these big sections on, just a bit more like a chipping effect, just for more of a worn paint. It's a bit easier to do than trying to paint it like that. There is a lot of gold on this, majority I paint on like normal but in the close areas where there is like on them little rings and on the little roof things I just dry brush them on as well. She's starting to look like a boat now. With all the deck pieces I have to super glue them on because it is going directly on the wood. It's not bad though, the plastics are looking a lot like the wood colour.
Again, I dry brush on the black under the high areas and also the gold. Makes it a lot easier to paint all these small little pieces. Once I join all these pieces together, I just paint them the same way I painted the boat, using all the same colours. Just added a small piece of chain to this area as the kit didn't have it. I base coated all the cannons black and then just dry brush on a gold, just leaving little bits of the black shining through, it just looks a bit more worn. Now again I just scratch up all the masts and stuff using the razor saw and the hobby knife the same way I'd done it earlier, I cut down some of the masts and that, made them broken and stuff. Again paint all these parts exact same way we painted the boat using the panel accents and stuff like that and just wipe them off with thinners.
the masks look really nice once painted. Glue cotton over the original plastic moulded ropes. I use baking paper to glue the tissue down so it doesn't stick when it comes to pulling it off and putting it on the ship. Just use a paintbrush to tear and shape the tissue. I hang the tissue like this so once it's dry it looks like it's blowing in the wind. Colour both sides of the tissue because once it's dried it is quite transparent. After I dirty up these bits, I also dirty the ropes. Glue the mask in place using super glue as well. Just making a few other little random pieces of cloth and laying bits of debris, dirt, sticks, little bits of rock, twigs, everything else. I really like using this gravel and sand fixer, it dries a nice matte colour and helps holds everything beautiful. I use this ash grey mixed with a bit of water just to lightly thin over the whole boat where I want it to look a bit dry and the wood a bit aged. This model paste is great for adding texture and stuff to your models and it's nice and easy to clean off, just cleans with water. 
I'll probably add more later on once it's sitting on the diorama and I can see where everything goes and how I envision it to look. Again, I'm using that model colour ash grey uh, just to give it that aged appearance and take the whiteness out of it. and the black wash helps to bring out the texture I'll leave a link to all the products used in the description and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up maybe leave us a comment or share it definitely subscribe to the channel and hopefully we'll see you next time thanks for watching